Hello everybody, and welcome back to Warehouse 18. Today, I'm going to be tackling another type of Magic Gathering deck box that I have created. This one is going to be a 3D printed deck box. Now, as you may or may not have heard in my last video, I have recently acquired a 3D printer. So in order to help myself get back into the design, you know, the creation of models in 3D space, I wanted to make a bunch of very simple designs. So a deck box seemed like a pretty good next step for me. My idea for this design is that it would be made out of three main components. An inner box, an outer box, and a top cover. As the name kind of suggests, the inner box is going to sit inside of the outer box, and then the top cover will close it off on top. Now, it's kind of hard to visualize now just from that small explanation, but as this project gets built, you'll see it come together. Another main feature of this design is that some of the walls have tabs on them that hang out over the side, and some of the walls have indents in them. Um, the purpose of these tabs and indents is to help these walls fit together like puzzle pieces. And with this, it allows it to be consistent, so if I make a bunch of them, I can consistently make the shapes and sizes uh, the same. And it just helps me build them faster and all that kind of stuff. So as you can see here, I'm starting to assemble the inner box. Now, like I said before, the inner box is going to sit inside of the outer box. Um, one of the other ideas that I had is that the uh, inner box and outer box could be two different colors of somebody's choice. Um, and the purpose of that is if you have a design that you want to do on the outer box, um, you can make a design on one of the walls. And if you have two different colors, then you can have that design kind of have a, a you know, offset background of a different color that kind of lets it pop in like, kind of like a 3D way. Um, but you'll see in this design uh, what I'm talking about. Here I'm starting the assembly of the outer box and you can see that I uh, incorporated a design into one of the walls. Um, since it is spooked over, I decided I was going to go with a jack-o'-lantern-esque type of deck box. And uh, this ties into what I was talking about before, how you would have the inner box have a separate color uh, from the outer box, and that would allow your design to kind of pop and um, just kind of make it like a 3D type of uh, uh, design. And here you can see the assembly of the top cover, which really is just a uh, smaller version of the uh, outer box. And there you have it. That is my idea for a Magic the Gathering 3D printed deck box. One problem that I realized after I had uh, actually started assembling these is that the lids didn't really uh, fit as snugly as I uh, had once hoped that they would. Um, so I designed in some holes that would fit some neodymium. Excuse me. Neodymium magnets. Uh, and that would allow these it would give it would give the lid something to hold on to And here I'm just showing off uh, The idea that the two boxes can be different colors and you can switch them and swap them in and out um, And that you know your foreground and background can be um, two different colors And that pretty much does it. Uh, I now have something I can uh, reliably replicate my 3d printer um, And I can mess around with designs and colors and all that fun stuff 
um, and it was just all in all a really great project. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, as always, any questions, comments, concerns, I'd love to hear.